Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. My name is Roy and today I'll be listening to all of the eight songs competing in Dansk Melody Grand Prix. It is of course the Danish national selection and this weekend they will decide on who will go to Eurovision for them. Um, the last few years haven't been the hottest for Denmark, um, but I hope they can recover and I'm very curious to hear these songs. I will listen to them in the order of the, I think this is the official order, I don't know, could be wrong on that. Um, it will be Winden Süßer Ind, then Hallelujah, then En Sköne Dag, then uh, Reef met de Herde Drenge, then Let Me Go, then Happy Go Lucky, then The Show, and lastly Kommet Vor at Blieve. Yes! Um, yeah, I'm very interested to see and listen these songs, so yeah, let's go to the first one. The first song that we will listen to is by the artist Patrick Dorgan. And the song is called Winden Süßer in. Yes, um, I'm curious. Let's find out what it is like. Let's click play. The Danish language is really intriguing. Like, it, it sounds so odd. He's got a good voice. Let's see the chorus. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's not too bad. It's definitely workable. And like, I can definitely picture a staging with it. I think this is a wonderful start to the show. Like, it's not very offensive, not very in your face. It's just a good song to get into it all. And it has quite a lot of potential too to stage it well. If he can sing as well live and his voice sounds quite rich, it's gonna be interesting. Is this gonna be enough for them to qualify for the final again? I don't know. I don't know. Might be difficult. Yeah. Honestly, that wasn't too bad of a start. Um, it, it's definitely already in a song that you could send to your version. And I don't know how well it would do, but hey, it's not bad at all. So yeah. Um, Patrick Dorgan. Decent song. Let's go to the next one. The second song that I'll listen to is by the group, I would assume. Confessions and the E is a three, so I'm assuming there were three. Uh, the song is called Hallelujah. Yes, so let's find out what it sounds like and let's click play. I sing hallelujah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I like those sound elements added. A lot of artists wouldn't add those, like the details that I live for. Like that. Okay. Different voice now. Hey. This is fun. Not gonna lie. Oh, I love that. Getting him. Yes. You know, I. It just shows the difference between an okay artist and a good artist because a lot of the artists would be like, oh, this is already fine, but adding those like three toots of a horn just make the song pop out that much more. And a lot of artists would just completely ignore it and not include it in their song. So, great job on that already. I live for details. Ah! It's one of the songs that I have no idea how it would do at Eurovision. Like, this could either do really well or just completely flop. But hey, why not take the chance? Why not take the chance? Yeah, honestly, that that is definitely a song that Denmark could send and probably do well with. I, I think it, it would fall on the well side of things. Of course, it depends on their live delivery, but hey, we'll find out. Jesus, we'll find out about that on Saturday, I guess. Yes, cool song. Thank you. Let's go to the next one. The next song that I'll listen to is by Der Far Engang. Yes, um, the song is called En Skune Dag. Uh, that probably means a beautiful day, which is quite close to Dutch because it's like an schone dag. It could be at least. It's not how you would normally say it, it's more like an mooie dag. But yeah, anyways, Danish and Dutch are kind of related in a few ways. Like you can really distinguish a few words here and there. Um, yeah, let's find out what this song is about. Let's click play. I guess it's a duet then. I really enjoy her voice. It sounds very, very clear. Ah, okay. 
Maybe a feel good song, I guess. I wish they also like differentiated between the voices a bit more. Like it's the entire time that they're singing together. I guess it's cute, but I wish like we heard his voice on its own at some point and her voice on its own as well at some point. But that's not happening. Huh. Yeah, this isn't really too much for me, um, unfortunately. I can definitely picture like some people really, really loving it. Um, but that person's not me. Yes, um, I don't know, it wasn't for me, I guess. Um, but it's cool that it's in selection, because it's definitely something different than the other two songs. So yeah, cool with that. Let's go to the next song. The next song that I listen to is by the artist Food Effect. The song is called Reef met de Herde Drenge. Yes. The word rave is already triggering me that I might like this. Yes. Um, let's find out what the song is about. Let's click play. Immediately. Let's go. I'm so loving this already. Where do we go from here? Yo, that rolls in nicely. Yo, this, this bass is so good. Woo. <laughs> it's so unique in Eurovision context. Let's go. It just makes you want to shuffle and dance and, and just move. That's good. Yo, Denmark, send this. I don't care, I don't care. Just do it. This is incredible. I uh, would they go for this? I, I would I would love them this year. 100%. I'm curious to see how this sounds live as well. Because um, it's never easy to sing an EDM song that you can just easily um, vocal chop and just use that in the song. Like, it's not that difficult. But like, if you have to sing that live, that's a bit more difficult. Uh, yo, that was really fun though. Like, <laughs> Just send this already. I don't even want to listen to the rest of the songs. Just send this. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the next song. The next song is by the artists Josie Eleanor and Jack Warren. And the song is called Let Me Go. Um, yeah. Curious what it's going to be like. I'm still kind of on the high of the last song, but hey. Um, let's hope that they don't disappoint either. So, let's find out what it is about and let's click play. Like cash from a gambler's account. Okay, interesting lyric. Okay. So far, it's only the guy, really. I guess after the chorus, the girl will come in, right? That makes sense. Yep. Yeah, this is nice, to be honest. I can picture this on the radio quite easily. Might not stand out enough though in a competition like your vision. But it's not bad. Okay. I don't really care for the lyrics either. Like, yeah, sure. I've heard this a few times, right? It sort of excites me, but it, it's it's perfectly okay. It's perfectly okay. Yeah, that was okay. Um, not as good as like the previous song or a few others of um, the ones that we've had before. But yeah, let's go to the next song. The next song is by the artist um, Morten Philipson. The song is called Happy Go Lucky. Yes. Let's find out what it is about and let's click play. I didn't expect Danish actually. I've just been casually listening to it, but then I just see, oh yeah, it was an English title. I didn't expect that. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Yeah, that's been better. That's been better in the selection. But nothing to be ashamed of, like, I think he'll be able to perform this live quite well as well. Yeah. It just stays a bit too middling for me. Like, this kind of disco song. I don't I feel like I should have gone into the next gear at some point. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it's a bit too much of the same. 
and a bit too middling. Like it doesn't excite me, it doesn't make me emotional, it doesn't make me angry. It doesn't really do much with me. And I always kind of want music to do something with me. Yes! Um, yeah, whatever really. <laughs> um, it's okay that it's in a competition, um, but it's not the best in my eyes. Yeah, let's go to the next song. The next song is by the group Ready. Yes, the song is called The Show, so hey. Curious what the show will be like, and um, let's not waste any time. Well, let's click play. Okay, I'm curious where this goes. Because looking at them, they seem like they're a rock band. Right now, we're having a ballad. It's gonna be a rock ballad? We're not that. You can try me. Exactly what we're getting. Knew it. Oh, that's dope. I love this. This is so good. Especially since it started with the ballad. Oh, it's such crazy rock too. I love it. Ah, yeah, this is great, man. I love it. Okay, and we're going back. Oh, we're not. <laughs> wow. This has so much potential. You can stage it so well, and you would honestly do very well with it in Italy, 100%. That was so cool! I did not expect it to be that, like, I don't know, I expected it because I saw the picture and I was like, yeah, they're definitely a rock band, there's something fishy here. Um, yo, I love it. It, it, that has a lot of potential, like, honestly, so far I've heard some material for Denmark that they can easily do well with, I think. So yeah, kudos Denmark already. But there's one more song to go, so let's go there. The final song of this video is by the artist Junker. The song is called Comet for at Bliebe. Let's find out what it is about. Let's click play. It's got a very odd voice. I don't hate it though. This will be a nice performance to end the show with, I guess. It makes sense. I don't think it should win though, there's definitely better material in this selection. But it's not a bad song. Perhaps the instrumentals could have been a tad better. And they're very... staying on the same level. I kind of zoned out for a bit there. Um, I haven't really said much during the song, I guess. But that's not the best sign in the world, is it? Then you zone out to a song that's competing for your region. Oh, that's it as well. Okay. Um, yeah, it, this is not what you want for your vision. Um, I think there's definitely way better songs in this selection that Denmark should definitely go for. Um, overall, not too bad though. Like, it, it, was, it was quite enjoyable. I just zoned out a bit. And yeah, you kind of want something that grabs your attention a bit more than that, I guess. Yes! Let's wrap up this video. And there you have it. Yes, I just listened to all of the songs competing for Dansk Melody Grand Prix. I think this will definitely be like a three horse race. Um, personally, my favorite was Food Effect with Rave mit der Hand Dränge. Um, Ready with the show was amazing too. I think that would be my second place. And I think Hallelujah is also up there um, to do well in a competition. Um, I hope that Denmark goes for something unique. Like, like I would be super over the moon if they go for full defect already. Like, either of the two will be really, really, really good for Eurovision. Um, and especially with Ready, I think they can do really well in the competition. Um, just personally, I prefer full defect. But if Denmark wants to do the best they can, they should 100% go for Ready. That is the option, basically. Yes. Um, what do you think? Who is your favorite of this selection? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for plenty more of these reaction videos. Yes, um, I hope to see you in the next video. I'm gonna wrap this one up. Time for me today. Goodbye.